Ever get that feeling? You know that feeling? Like you've stumbled on something totally unexpected. Oh, yeah. We'll like you're that. down a rabbit hole of information. That's kind of what today's deep dive feels like. Ooh, I like that. What kind of rabbit hole are we talking about? We're diving into a concept that, well, it's both familiar and a little out there, you know? We're talking about wizards. Wizards. Okay, now you got my attention. But, and here's the twist. Not the Gandalf or Dumbledore kind, necessarily. Hold on. So not the wizards we grew up with. Nope. Well, there are connections to those legendary figures, definitely. But what we have here, it's a perspective on wizardry that's rooted in energy healing. Oh, interesting. So less about casting fireballs and more about, I don't know, channeling energy or something. You're getting warmer. The source we're looking at, it dives headfirst into this whole idea that a wizard... A real wizard is basically someone who can create these magical transformations. Transformations. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and they're linking this to a specific energy healing practice. Exactly. It's called vortex healing. Ever heard of it? Vortex healing. Yeah, I've come across it in my research. It's not my area of expertise, but it definitely seems to have a passionate following. Well, get this. It claims to do some pretty incredible things all by tapping into this what they call source energy. Sounds pretty intense, right? Definitely a bold claim. Yeah. So how does this source connect wizardry to vortex healing? It all comes down to this idea of transformation. They're saying that vortex healing isn't just about, you know, making aches and pains disappear. Right. It's about something bigger. Exactly. They're talking about creating profound shifts like real magic by tapping into this source energy. Fascinating. It's like they're taking this word wizard and giving it a modern makeover, scripting away the fantasy and grounding it in something tangible. It's almost like they're reclaiming the word, giving it a new context for the 21st century. But it's not just semantics, right? They take it a step further and connect it to this lineage, the lineage of Merlin. Wait, really? As in Merlin the wizard from the King Arthur legends? That's the one. The source argues that Merlin isn't just this name from these old stories. They say it's a title. A title. Like a mantle passed down through generations. Exactly. A mantle passed down for generations of, get this, energy workers. Whoa. Okay. So they're saying there's this unbroken line of Merlin stretching back through history. That's what they're claiming. And get this, they even say that this lineage, it exists today. They wouldn't happen to name a current Merlin, would they? They do. They name Rick Weinman, the founder of Vortex Healing, as the current Merlin in this lineage. Pretty mm. wild, right? That's quite a claim. But if this wizardry isn't about casting spells with wands and potions, how does this source energy actually work? What does it even feel like to tap into it? So to be honest, the source doesn't really get into the nitty gritty of what it feels like to work with this source energy. Kind of a bummer, I know. Uh -huh. But they do emphasize that vortex healing, it's not about outward magical rituals. So it's more about an internal process, an inner connection. Exactly. It's about an internal connection, this ability to channel this energy for healing and transformation. Okay, I'm starting to get a better picture of how they're framing this. So do they offer any examples of how this wizardry plays out in real life? They do. They actually use Andy Sway, who's a vortex healing practitioner in Los Angeles, as a prime example of this. And get this, they straight up call him a wizard. A wizard in our midst. I love it. They really are trying to reframe how we think about these concepts. It begs the question, if someone like Andy Sway can tap into this source energy, does that mean we all have that potential within us? Right. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Have you ever felt like you had this untapped potential, this wellspring of energy inside you just waiting to be accessed? I think many of us have had those moments where we sense there's more to us than we realize, moments of intuition or creativity that seem to come from somewhere beyond our usual awareness. Exactly. And that's what makes this so intriguing. This whole idea of source energy and the potential for transformation, it's like they're saying maybe, just maybe, there's more to reality than meets the eye. It's a powerful message. Yeah. And it really makes you think, if this source energy is real, if it's something that individuals like Andy Sway are tapping into, what are the implications? Not just for personal healing and transformation, but for our understanding of what's possible. It really does make you wonder, doesn't it? Could there be a future where these ideas we associate with magic, with wizardry, are actually just aspects of ourselves waiting to be unlocked? Now that's a deep dive if I've ever heard one. I know, right? It leaves you with a lot to think about.